What's up YouTube? I thought I'd do a quick video uh, follow up on the RTX voice uh, video that I made previously and um, just give an update on how, what I think about it and how it's been treating me the last couple of weeks. Um, so if you didn't know, NVIDIA came out with a AI powered program that um, gets rid of background noise. Like right now, I hear my kids running around upstairs, and um, you know, they're not they're not quiet. <laughs> That's just you know, well, who they are. But uh, I'm able to suppress a lot of that noise just using RTX voice, which is great. Um, and also, you know, do fan noise. Like there's a vent above me that I can hear, but you probably will not be able to hear it. If I stop talking, yeah. So there were been some questions on how to use it with Voice Meter Banana together. So um, I thought I'd make a just a quick video about it. So when you download NVIDIA RTX Voice. Uh, and install it you're gonna get this screen this is all you get but your input device should be your microphone um, I could have it to my Logitech he headset um, but I do have a microphone here so I'm using that um, and you want to remove background noise from my microphone and then you can set the percentage here um, I have it turned up all the way since my environment is pretty noisy um, and then your output device here, I have voice meter banana. Uh, I have these virtual audio cables that you can download. And let me just show you where to, to get those. So if you go to vbaudio.com, and I'll link this in the description below, um, you can download these virtual audio cables. And basically what it does is it spoofs um, it makes the computer think that there's a actual physical line, but there isn't. Um, so your output device, this is where all my sound goes out to the internet or to discord or where, where have you. Um, so this is my virtual cable that does all that. And I can actually remove, um, all of that background noise too. So it cleans it up. Um, now using it with voice meter banana, uh, there are some really good guides out there, um, that can help you set this all up. I am not technical enough to walk you through all that, uh, to be, to be perfectly honest, uh, all of these settings was kind of blind luck and I, <laughs> I saved the settings and I haven't thought about it since. So anyhow, um, what I do understand is that you get your hardware in it or hardware out, excuse me. So this is your, either your speakers or your headphones, and that's mapped to my A1. Okay. So I could hear everything through here and that's coming through A1. Now you see here we have, uh, my microphone. Now if we click on this, um, we can choose microphone NVIDIA RTX voice. Um, you can, choose one of these drivers, but make sure you use the same one across the board. Um, from what I understand, WDM is the lowest latency. So that's the one that I went with. So, um, yeah, I'm clicking that. So once you have NVIDIA RTX voice selected here in the hardware input, um, what it's doing is it's taking whatever, uh, the AI is doing in the RTX voice and sending it over to here. Um, at which point what, what is happening in this column is I'm sending that audio mixed however I want, um, to outputs B1 and B2. B2 is what you guys would be hearing. And that's this column. You see that labeled there. Um, and you can control that um, to however you want. Now this column, I have it set to my discord. So my discord is actually sending that 
audio output to um, that virtual cable that we were talking about earlier um, to this virtual cable. And it's sending that audio here. And so I can choose to have it go out to the um, video or the chat um, or the stream, whatever you want. So I can turn that on and off just by um, having B2 selected. And uh, yeah, so that's how you get the RTX AI noise cancellation synced with the um, voice meter banana to have a cleaner audio recording, cleaner stream, um, what have you. And if you haven't seen my first video, um, I'll link it in the description below and I'll annotate it here. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this update to the RTX video or RTX voice video I made earlier. And um, yeah, I'll keep you guys informed on anything uh, new that comes up. Uh, the other thing that's coming up that's really cool is the RTX green screen. So it uses AI to cut out all the background here, right? And then you can um, you can make your streams and your videos far more interactive without having to buy a green screen or painting your wall green. Um, Guys, if you found this video helpful and informative, please subscribe and like the video. It really does help the channel out and um, it, it helps me know what you guys want to hear and see in the future. So thanks so much for stopping by again and have a wonderful day.